Time and time again, Kate Middleton has been compared to the late Princess of Wales, mother of her husband Prince William. Dubbed the People's Princesses during the period of her marriage to then Prince Charles, Diana Spencer was famed for her relatability, approachability and the personable relationship she maintained with all citizens of nations across the world. And since ascending to the title of the new Princess of Wales, following her father-in-law Charles's rise to the throne in September this year, many royal experts have commented on Kate's mirroring of the late Princess Diana's seemingly yet unparalleled charm. But royal author Katie Nichol, writer of new book The New Royals, believes one of Kate's greatest successes has been making the role of the Princess of Wales her own. She has always made sure she honors Diana's memory, Katie exclusively tells OK. Whether that was through pieces of jewelry that she's worn or keeping memory boxes for the children in order to keep the memory of the grandmother they never knew alive. But she never tried to emulate Diana. She found her own stride, her own role, and she's been incredibly successful at doing that. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Princess Kate regularly pays tribute to her late mother-in-law with the clothes and jewelry she wears, often being pictured in a dress similar to one of Diana's or wearing her earrings. Katie continues, yes, she follows in great footsteps as the new Princess of Wales because the last Princess of Wales was Diana, a title Camilla deliberately never took, but I think she'll make it her own and make a great success of it. As well as this, Katie credits the Duchess of Cambridge and husband William for their impressive ability to keep their cool in the face of the turbulent accusations and backlash formed as a result of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's controversial Netflix documentary. They have got more weight on their shoulders," admits Katie. When Harry and Meghan stood down as working royals, it was very apparent that a lot was going to fall to William and Catherine because Charles and Camilla simply couldn't take on any more. They've carried the weight of that extra workload with a sense of duty very much at the forefront, with a smile on their faces," she adds, it helps enormously that they enjoy their work and we have recently seen both of them, William in particular, carrying out a really high-profile role around the United Kingdom. Thank you for watching and subscribe to the channel.